Hello Leos, this is your June 2018 reading. As you know, this may not resonate with all Leos. I wanted to get Leo out because I know they have a lot of squares in their own sign. At least the early Leos do. And um, I wanted to get this out. I'm sorry I'm so late, but as you know, this may not resonate with everyone. Leo, June 2018, Leo. Oh. Leo, June 2018. What is going on with Leo? June 2018. Do you shuffle these prior just so you can get, so I can concentrate on your uh, sign, Leo sign. See what got going here. Got to get better, don't it? Something's got to give. Magician, overall energy, and is in the upright. And as you know, I read reversals, so. In the upright, the magician is a good card. It is someone who has the tools and know how to manifest those tools. They have the know-how and the ability to make things happen. Got gain coming. It's about time, right? I think it's about time. I had to put this uh, other, you know, covering on here because the cat's tearing up the other one. Being mean to me. But you got gain starting out. What's crossing the gain is that you may not go for it. You got the four of swords crossing it. Someone's taking a break. Maybe you're uh, lounging around too much. And if this is, uh, I'm trying to think, when you got the four of swords, it's like just someone taking a break from gain. Or they, I'm thinking, and this is just my feel, is that you may not recognize this game coming your way. So keep your eyes open, Leo. Okay? Why is the, the Nine of uh, Pentacles there with the Four Swords crossing it? Let's get some clarity. Clarify this. Yeah, I'm thinking you may uh, miss an opportunity, Leo. Keep your eyes open. Goal. You may have your mind set on something else, or this could be what you're thinking your gain is, but your goal is the Prince of Cups. I'm thinking you got your mind on somebody else instead of maybe things that you need to take care of around you, like finances and uh, work and things that you enjoy. Your, your, your goal is this Prince of Cups. So why is the Prince of Cups? It's in the upright. Prince of Cups, why are you there? Prince of Cups, why are you there? That's the Ace of Swords. This is the Ace of Cups here. So I'm seeing that you're taking a break from, you're not accepting this offer with this, this Nine of Pentacles. You're not seeing it. I'm thinking you're going to miss an opportunity because maybe you're, you're, you're pining over a Prince of Cups or maybe this is the Prince of Cups pining over you. But the Ace of Swords is also in reverse. So someone's not able to get their truth out. They're not able to say what they want to say. And maybe you're trying to turn that around. Foundation. The hangman. Someone's tired of hanging around. <laughs> Someone's tired of hanging around. They're wanting that uh, Prince of Cups energy. And as you know, Prince of Cups, it could be a water sign or someone just with that energy like Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, we all have that somewhere in our chart, but this is a dominant uh, type of energy. Why is the hangman in reverse? Someone's not wanting to uh, just hang in the balances anymore. They're wanting some action. But apparently they may let gain go by because they're wanting maybe this Prince of Cups. So the hangman, why are you in reverse? Is the foundation. And injustice. Judgment. It's in reverse. So you're not hanging around. Maybe an injustice was done over maybe finances. So you may, it may be an uh an injustice that you let something pass you by that gives you uh, stability. Okay? It could be the foundation that you shouldn't just hang around and wait. Okay? That could be it too. Adjustment. That's the Eight of Pentacles. It's in reverse. And um, so I'm seeing you're not taking care of business. You're worried about... An, uh, Maybe a love interest or someone in your family. It could be a friend. 
could be anything, but you may be letting something pass you by that's financial because Pentacles has a lot to do with finances, and that's what you're taking a break from, even though you have gain coming your way. Eight of uh, Pentacles. Why are you in reverse? And two of uh, uh, Pentacles. You're not working on something. You're not juggling. You're not working hard. You're, you're worried about this Prince of Cups. Something's got you. Yeah, Nine of Swords. In the near future, this is very near. Nine of Swords, this is a nightmarish situation. You're up nights thinking about this person or situation, whatever it is. You're, you're up nights um, maybe having trouble sleeping. Maybe you're at war with yourself because this is a Mars card. And Mars is very active for Leos. Why is the Nine of Swords there? Queen of Wands, that's you. Yeah. Five of Cups, possible future outcome advice cards. Five of Cups is sorrow. So the advice card would be, look at the two full cups behind you and not the spilt cups in front of you. Because in this spread, or in any other spread, the Five of Cups is usually when someone doesn't see what they had in front of them. They just see the negative. So the advice could be, get out of that sorrow. Look at your full cups. Go for the game. So Five of Cups, why, is, why are you there? Why are you there as the possible future outcome and the advice? Five of Cups again. Both in the upright. It's saying, get out of that rut. You better get out of that rut, Leo. What's coming towards you? And this also could be what people are thinking that are around you. Outside influences is... Something to do with a relationship, a contract, family values, uh, the status quo. And what you got uh, clarifying that is the Seven of Swords and the Nine of, Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is in reverse. The Seven of War, uh, Swords is upright. But the Seven of Swords is a relationship situation. People may think that someone's flying under the radar, being sneaky, trying to get away with something, or just not want to be seen. And they're not really working too hard at maybe even a job. Or even a relationship could be anything. It's going to be different for many of you. Um, hopes and fears, maybe someone get a little uh, self defensive because you got the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands there? Why is the Seven of Wands um, the hopes and fears of Leo? The World card. Yeah, you're hoping someone get defensive and that something's not going to take off and, and become new again and, and be positive again. That's your fear. Someone, you, something's going to be self-defensive. It's also a Mars type of Mars card, and a new beginning may not happen. That's what you're afraid of. That's fear. Remember, it's, it's in your head, just like in, in the near future. The outcome is the Three of Cups. So in the first couple of weeks of June, you may not be going out with this person. You may be pining over them and letting good things pass you by. And the Vice card says, do not do that. So Three of Cups, why are you there? It's in reverse. Why are you the outcome? For the um, June 2018, why is it there? Three of Cups, why are you there as the outcome? In reverse, why are you there? Knight of Cups, there's that Knight of Cups. You got the Prince of Cups here, you got the Knight of Cups. It's, you're pining over this Knight of Cups type of energy, this emotional type energy. For the, I'm thinking it's a person for a lot of you. And that uh, you're going to be worried more about them than you are your own um self you're you know to get to grow to live day to day so the vice card is saying look at the two of cups behind you and let this situation take care of itself more or less and that's your reading leo go for the game don't let something pass you by okay bye and i forgot you got the ending energy is the uh six of swords it's in reverse i, I had to go back and almost click got to read this to you. That's moving on from troubled waters. You got to move on. Sorry. Talk to you next time. Probably in a couple weeks. Bye.